Sack. I'm a psychologist at the University of Rochester Medical Center, and I'm working with a colleague here at the University of Rochester, Stephen McAlevey, a biomedical engineer, in the development of a curriculum and corresponding technology to increase the rate at which children with autism and other developmental disabilities acquire the skill of using the toilet independently. As you might know, children with autism acquire toileting skills at a slower rate than the general population. This is due to things like anxiety, uh, the slower rate of learning that uh, many children with autism experience, and also the difficulties with change that children with autism demonstrate. This decreases opportunities for inclusion that children with autism uh, have, things like daycare, preschool, general education. Dr. McAlevey and I have developed a response to this particular problem. Uh, it involves the technology, the use of a moisture sensor that detects small drops of urine on the child's underwear that sets the occasion for a pager to activate, notifying parents, teachers, and the child that a simple toilet training procedure should commence. Uh, the toilet training procedure is based on the use of positive reinforcement, that is reward, uh, to consequate successful toilet use in order that the child becomes independent in toileting in an efficient, uh, in, in the quickest amount of time. Through intramural funding here at the University of Rochester, we've had the opportunity to pilot out the toilet training curriculum and the corresponding technology, and we've had a fair amount of success. We'd like to take this just a few steps further in order that we can make it available to parents, teaching staff who are working with children with autism, in order that uh, these children can be increasingly independent and successful in using the toilet on their own. We found uh, through our pilot training that this is a relatively easy method for the children to participate in. And furthermore, it's easy for the parents and the teachers. This is a key way of supporting children with autism and other developmental disabilities, as well as their parents and their teachers. And I'd hope you'd give this particular project due consideration as you think about your donations. I appreciate your time.